This is my version of Clayton Boyer's beautifully designed celestial mechanical calendar and ori. In the, in the building process, my good wife Pat provided invaluable assistance and encouragement, and our son Jeff designed, laser etched, and cut all the decals. The gears are made from recycled Purple Heart and Brazilian cherry wood, cherry hardwood flooring. Each wheel is comprised of 12 pie-shaped segments glued together. The levers are made of white maple. By now you will have observed a very odd gear arrangement in the fan drive mechanism. Just prior to starting this video, during a test run, the gear broke. The failure is clearly a result of poor gluing technique. I will remake the gear later, but will continue this demonstration to the extent possible. My apologies for that. First, we'll look at the drive mechanism. It is powered by this eight pound weight, which I will attach later. Each day, this lever is pulled once. The locking wheel is released and rotates once counterclockwise. The dog bone connector here, driven by this eccentric pin, moves the entire lever to the, to the right and then back to the left. This movement activates other arms, which in turn resu result in the various displays being changed. Behind this wheel is a one quarter by one inch ratchet gear and clicks. They engage to allow the driving mechanism to be rewound and hold the eight pound weight from falling. As you can imagine, it's under considerable stress. Here is an example of one that failed earlier on. The result was the weight crashing to the floor. Lastly, the calendar is wound with this crank. As you can see, it winds without having all the gears turned. The day of the week and phase of the moon are displayed here. The moon is just past full moon. You can see a representative moonscape on the bright side of the ball. When the lever is activated, and the lever mechanism moves to the right, this arm engages a gear behind this wheel. The day, view, day wheel rotates one day and the 29 pin moon, moon ball gear rotates as well. This, like all of the displays, is very accurate. In this case, to one day in three and a quarter years. Here's an example of what happens. This rotates from Wednesday to Thursday. At the same time, the ball is rotating one day. You can watch the moon rotate as I do it again. I consider this to be the heart of the display. It starts here with the day of the month, the 20th of December. The calendar adjusts automatically for the months with 28, 30, or 31 days. To do this, a cam behind the month wheel moves this guide up or down. This changes the end of the month advance arm, which changes the adjustment arm, which engages the advance pin on this wheel. That allows the wheel to be pushed forward one or two extra days. This window shows the solstice equinox, which we know occurs twice a year. This window also shows the zodiac sign, in this case, between Capricorn and Sagittarius. And this is the Ori. It represents the closest three planets, Mercury, Venus, and Mars. 
as seen from Earth as they apparently move across and back in the night sky. Obviously they, are, are, they revolve around the Sun, but when viewed from Earth they move closer and further away. The planets move counterclockwise on this line. When they pass this line, going in this direction, they are said to be in retrograde, that is, moving away from the Earth, as seen in the night sky. You will see no discernible movement in this daily cycle, as the Mercury cycle is about 116 days, while the Mars takes over 780 days to make a round trip. how this works, I have disengaged this display from the rest of the mechanism so that we can see it run in fast time. I'll rotate the day of the month wheel here through one month at a time and we can see how things happen. You'll be able to see the interaction of the three planets here as they are all revolve around Earth you'll be able to see the end of the month advance arm move up and down as the wheel rotates on this can. As well, you'll see the month zodiac wheel progress and the solstice indicator will disappear and run around this wheel. I'll reset the calendar now, and then we can run it in full time. So now I will attempt to run the calendar. I have removed the fan as it is driven by the broken gear. When I throw the lever, all the actions I have described will happen, albeit rather quickly. So it's set today for Monday the 20th of December. So the levers will be thrown now. And there you can see it is now the 21st Sunday of December. It was a little clunky because of that broken gear, but all seemed to go pretty well. So there you have it. I will not tempt fate by more runs to show you the calendar advancing from 28 to 30 days, but I can tell you that it does work. Sorry if this is a little anticlimactic, but hopefully you get a sense of what it's all about. Thank you for watching.